Hey you guys, long time no see, and I am here with my first empties video. So I have an array of things um, that I've been saving since the beginning of the year. So I'm just going to jump right in and get started. I only have one food item that I wanted to show you and actually warn you about. Um, but Brett had brought these home. He had just informed me that they were from his mom. And so the big joke was whoever brought these into the house is the devil. Just saying. <laughs> um, C's Candy Toffee Eggs. These were small, like, toffee things. Um, they were unbelievably delicious. I ended up eating the whole thing within a two weeks time span. And it was so sad when they were gone. I just looked to see if they were really all gone. They are really all gone. And they were really high in points, so I suggest you just steer clear of these, especially if you like toffee. Do not let those in your house. They are the devil, and anybody get, gives them to you is the devil. So health-wise, I finished two bottles of vitamins. The first one is the Trader Joe's Potent and Complete Women's Once Daily Multivitamin and Mineral. They are gentle on the stomach, as it says. Um, there are 60 tablets in here. I take one a day. They are gluten-free. Very inexpensive, um, but you can definitely tell if there's a couple days that you don't take it because you start feeling a little rundown. So those are in my daily vitamin ritual. And then I also started taking probiotics because I have a horrible GI tract and I needed something to help me. And I decided to start out on the small end. So these only have two billion organisms per tablet. You take two tablets a day. Um, since I started taking this, this has been a lifesaver. Um, this is also gluten-free and it's also vegetarian for anybody who's interested. Um, but this is the thing. The bottle okay so it's $5.99 or $6.99 for this bottle you're taking two a day there's 50 tablets so 25 days worth totally worth it this has helped me tremendously like I will never go another day without it household items um, I have some candles that I used up some of them I used up um, the first one is this pet house candle and it was in the fragrant sugared cranberries um, we get this brand and this specific thing at the um, feed and seed store where we buy our pet food. So this was $2.50 for this little thing. I mean little. Okay. And while it does work if you have pets because it does not, when you burn these it doesn't leave off all the chemicals that Yankee candles do and Bath and Body candles do so it's actually safer and we're actually moving more towards um, these kind of candles however we're using what we have which is <laughs> what I've got um, but this one I had gotten I did not care for the smell it tastes like it tastes like it smells like um, not sugared cranberries at all but a very extremely sweet smell but when you were burning it it almost smelled a little smoky and I did not care for it now the pine one that we had last year smelled just like a Christmas tree and they did not have it this year so we'll see <clears throat> the next one was this thing that I am so glad that it's gone it was I believe from Walmart somebody had given it to me as a gift it was a limited edition in 2013 so that's how long I've had it um, festive holiday cheer is what it was called I'm not even gonna open this because the smell like sickens me it's not that the smell was bad but see all the soot on the top like I just can't handle I can't deal with that and so it's not empty but I'm not not even even then my beloved tis the season candle this smells delicious you just want to take a spoon and dig in jello should have a flavor that tastes like this smells i'm just saying but um it doesn't i don't smell pine in here okay i don't smell pine it says pine but i don't smell pine but the problem with this, and this is a Bath and Body Works fail, because see how unevenly it melted? 
my the wicks are caca in here so it kept going out and I just got sick and tired of trying to get it to stay lit so garbage it goes but it smells so delicious I love that smell and I hope they never discontinue that because oh, it smells so good okay I have an addiction to method cleaners So two of them are all purpose. One is the wood cleaner. The wood for good daily clean. It cleans and it dusts. So I do my cabinet fronts with this. I do my end tables, um, my kitchen island, my kitchen table, the kitchen chairs, um, my nightstand in the bedrooms, like anywhere that we're cleaning wood, the TV stand, everything gets done with this. It smells like almonds like the Jergens almond lotion that's what this smells like it smells so good but it does a really good job of cleaning and there's no chemicals it's wonderful so then I have the all-purpose cleaners the first one was honey crisp apple um yeah it smells like an apple orchard but I don't know like I used it all through fall and I got sick and tired of smelling this. I really did. It, it did not smell good after a while. I know my mom was crazy about it when she came over. And it, do, it does smell good. But every day it's a bit much. And I mean, I use this stuff every single day. So just recently I finished the cucumber smell. And in a kitchen... This is a wonderful, wonderful smell in the kitchen, but I do not want to smell this like in the bedroom at all. Um, I don't use it on glass, but it says that you can. It says you can use it on counters, tile, stone, wood, and glass. Um, I only use it on my counters. I use it to spot clean my ceramic tile, and I use it as a bathroom cleaner. Um, it does do well with cutting the grease, but if you need something heavy, heavy duty, this is not your thing. Um, but for an, a good everyday cleaner, these are them. Um, I like it because there are no chemicals. When I mop the floor, we just pour a little bit of this in there um, because then that way if the dogs step on it and they end up licking their paws, there's nothing harmful in that for them. And that's it for the household stuff. So now we're going to move on to the beauty products and personal stuff. If you notice, since you've last talked to me, I got a different haircut as well. It is even further stacked in the back. Um, not absolutely crazy about it. Like I'm missing my long hair right now, like desperately. But it'll grow back. Um, but then I also colored it because at this time of the year, I tend to go dark. And then when the sun, like when spring happens in summer, then it kind of like naturally highlights. So I tried a new color, Garnier Olea, um, because there is no ammonia in it. So I thought this would be a really good one. It sucks. This sucks. Um, my hair feels like straw. Um, I like the green box better, like the regular Garnier. Um, was not crazy about this at all. So I don't think I'm going to buy it again, even if it's on sale with a coupon and they pay me to take it out of the store. I don't think I would take it again. So I finished a mascara. This was the Lash Blast volume. This is my holy grail of mascara. I love this thing. I keep trying new ones. This is in the black color. Um, I keep trying new ones and then I hate them, but I love the brush that this has. I don't know if you can see it like I love the brush that this has and it volumizes and it thickens and it's just wonderful but I'm out now I tried a new one and I hate it hate it but I have to finish it so then Marissa and I finished a deodorant called primal pit paste this is actually our second one it comes in a jar and it looks like this so it's coconut oil based and there is no aluminum no parabens um, this is all there's no GMOs it's all organic shea butter arrowroot powder non-aluminum baking soda 
organic coconut oil and then this one was a coconut lime scent so it had lime essential oils and organic coconut uh, flavoring and non-gmo vitamin e that come from sunflowers so what this is now this i've been using this for a while and i'll go into the story about that some other time how i got to using this but um and let me it smells like coconut lime like it takes you to like an island um you put a pea size on your finger and then you just rub it under your armpits um i also use it as a cuticle cream it works great for that um this little jar lasts me and marissa for everyday use about six months this is 9.99 um, i get it at whole foods you can also get it um, on amazon and they do have a stick form but i prefer this everybody that i have bought this for absolutely loves it and they have completely switched over we did buy a new one that we are using up and so wonderful product I totally recommend that one okay so I have very thin fine hair I had bought this at Ulta the not your mother's plump for joy thickening shampoo and I did have the conditioner but I accidentally threw it away I loved this stuff and I went to Walmart because I know they carry the not your mother's brand and I thought that they would have this they don't have the plump for joy so I have to go to Ulta to get this and Ulta's kind of out of my way a little bit next time I go to Ulta though I am stocking up this was fantastic I had so much volume it softened your hair it smells delicious and it's sulfate paraben and dye free and there's nothing there are no bad ingredients um, to ruin like anything on your scalp I might my hair never felt better when I was using this I loved it so I live in the Midwest and here we have cold cold winters and very blustery I live in the Windy City um, my everyday face soap from Andalou Naturals was not cutting it um, so I found Birds of Bees has a cleansing oil. I got this at Target. Um, so I use this at night and it takes off your makeup and everything in one fell swoop and it left your skin so soft and dewy. It was wonderful. Um, I have purchased this again. But I think it's going to be a little bit too heavy for the spring and summer months. So I still have Andalou Naturals, the Thousand Roses for sensitive skin. I use that every morning and I think that's what I'm going to go back to at night as well. Then at Target, I also picked up this Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. I had this once um, from an Ipsy bag and Marissa had ended up using it. I never got to try it. But I have to say, you guys, when I used this, I used it uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the shower, my skin felt so soft, just like butter. Um, I will definitely purchase the full size of this again. This was wonderful. Um, and again, there's no, it's sulfate-free, paraben-free. There's no bad ingredients. It's from uh, Cure Organics. You can buy it online you can buy it on Amazon um, I don't know if Ulta has it Target has the full size and I don't think it's that expensive but you don't need a lot a little goes a long way but your skin feels so soft and it's a mild exfoliator because I have some mild rosacea that comes here and it did not get bothered at all beautiful beautiful product so in the same section where I got that small Acura thing at Target, they also had these samples of these bath bombs called Tiny Me. There was two of them in here. Marissa used one and I used one. And it was the flavor Gotta Have It Pomegranate. It stunk. Like the smell. Like it was, it stank bad. And I thought, pomegranate, this is going to be a nice, like, refreshing scent. Like, I was in the tub for 10 minutes, and then I couldn't even stand the smell anymore, and I had to get out. But I do have to say, it did leave my skin soft. Um, 
I would be willing to try a different scent from this, but the pomegranate was caca. And my last item is my holy grail of makeup. I love this foundation. It's Maybelline's Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. It's for normal to dry skin. I'm in the shade 120, which is classic ivory. That's what the bottle looks like. I love this foundation. It matches my skin tone perfectly. It gives me a nice, glowy, dewy look. It's not oily at all. It goes on without flaking. It comes off nicely with any kind of makeup remover or soap. I love this and it stays all day. Um, I purchased this again and I will keep repurchasing it until they discontinue it and I hope I didn't just jinx myself. So, a definite must try. If you guys are looking for a foundation, this Maybelline Fit Me is unbelievable. And it's so cheap. Like, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, anybody has this, wonderful. Um, I use this as eye primer. It blends in perfectly. I'm going to give you a close-up. Because I have it on today. I don't know if you can see. It gives you like a medium to full coverage. It is just like, do you see there's like a little glow? I did not put any powder on. I love this stuff, you guys. I love this stuff. So that was it for my empties video. I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And I will talk to you soon, friends. Bye.